We now move on to the next uh, question. <clears throat> the next question, uh, Sister Tezneen, I hope I pronounced that properly, from Australia. Uh, she uh, asks that during this time frame of um, all of this, uh, um, you know, um, riots going on and uh, police brutality that in her uh, town of Australia, that some Islamophobes have brought in Quran translations that seem to suggest, as so weird, a'udhu billah, seem to suggest that the Quran has certain racist verses in it, a'udhu billah. And so she's writing in saying that, how do we understand these verses? Uh, and of them is Surah Al Imran, verse 106, uh, that the translation she sends to me, uh, which is the Islamophobes are quoting to her online, that why does the Quran say uh, that on that day some faces will be white? and some faces will be black. يَوْمَ تَبْيَضُّ وُجُوهٌ وَتَسْوَدُّ وُجُوهٌ And in Surah Al-Zumar verse 60, وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ تَرَى الَّذِينَ كَذَبُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ وُجُوهُهُمْ وَسْوَدَّ On the day of judgment, those who lied against Allah, their faces will be turned black. And so she says, how do I respond to these allegations that the Quran seems to have this notion of faces being black if they're bad and faces being white if they're good? وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِمْ فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ the answer to this question, subhanAllah, what a, what a, what a great egregious uh, translation error, mistranslation that might even be intentional. We seek Allah's refuge, a'udhu billah. How can anybody, anybody accuse the Quran of being uh, racist? This clearly demonstrates that this person uh, either has an evil intent or uh, most likely has no clue what the Arabic actually says. And the Quran, it is true, does mention the word tabiyaddu and taswaddu. It is very true. However, these verb tenses have nothing to do with skin colors. There is no racial element being implied at all. And anybody who really understands Arabic will understand this. The problem comes that most of the people who translate the Quran, most of them are not qualified to translate the Quran. And I do not even deny that maybe some translator actually said that, and I think actually it is true, I did find it in one translation, their faces will be whitened and then their faces will be blackened. This is not how the verse should be translated. Tabiyaddu and taswaddu or muswadda are linguistic forms that have nothing to do with the color of one's skin. And hence, any person who understands Arabic would never associate these verbs with human skin color. These Quranic verbs and nouns are in fact associated with the brightness of the day. And the brightness of the day is associated with optimism. It is associated with a new time frame, a hope. And the muswadda or taswaddu, it is associated with the uh, worrying times or maybe the darkness of the uh, night. And by the way, those connotations of night and day, they are found even in the English language. So for example, we say the rise of a new dawn when we will intend optimism. We say dark stormy clouds when we when we intend something that is terrifying. When we say the rise of a new dawn, does anybody think of the skin color white? No, it is the sun, it is optimism. So this is what the notion of tabiyaddu uh, and taswaddu. And in fact, the Quran is actually very explicit. Look at Surah Yunus verse 27, where darkness, uh, the word taswaddu, is explicitly linked to the issue of the night, nothing to do with uh, skin colors. Allah says that qita' min layli muzlima, that it is muzlim from the night's darkness. So the issue of whiteness and darkness is a huge mistranslation. Rather, what the Quran is describing when the Quran says that the people of paradise, yawma tabiyaddu wujuh, the meaning is that the faces will be optimistic. The faces will be, in English we can say, beaming with joy. That's how it should be translated. Nothing to do with whiteness whatsoever. The noun here has to do with beaming with joy. And then the opposite, taswaddu, they're going to be 
uh, uh, gloomy with fear, with trepidation. That's what taswaddu uh, means, has nothing to do again with the color of one's skin. And if we all know, alhamdulillah, that white and brown and black, all of these skin colors, alhamdulillah, we know very clearly that they mean nothing for the issue of salvation. It is an established principle of Islam that there is no superiority of a white over a black, of an Arab over a non-Arab, except with uh, taqwa. And so inshallah, people of all skin colors, the white of them, the black of them, the brown of them, the yellow of them, them, every skin color. Those that are righteous, they, they will be tabiyaddu wuju. And those that are not righteous, they will be taswaddu wuju. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of us, no matter where our skin colors are, of those whose faces are tabiyaddu, meaning bright with a happiness and glory. <laughs> المشحون يا من أحال النار حول خليله روحا وريحانا بقولك كون